Hey everybody, welcome to Make Movies Now. My name is Charles. I'm your host, and today we're gonna do. Today, we're gonna learn how to put your face on someone else's face using DaVinci Resolve. So we got my two different clips here in DaVinci Resolve. I got one on top of the other. We got my green screen on the top. We're gonna put a hole through that to put my face on top of this Volvo commercial's face. Uh, first thing we're going to do here is we're going to get this audio clip. We're going to hit the D for disband or disable because we don't want to hear the audio as we're putting all this through. I'm going to show you two different ways to put to get rid of the green screen and to track the face. So the first way we're going to show is in the color page. So a couple of things we got to do here. First, you got your initial actor you're going to use. We're going to bring the opacity down just a little bit and we're going to match up the size of the face on top of the other one. There you go, looks pretty good. Bring the opacity back up. Flip over here now to the color tab. You've got your nodes on the right side. If you don't see your nodes, click on the nodes button at the top to see these little boxes. These are called nodes. We're going to click on this one. We're going to, on our keyboard, hit Alt-S two times. The first node, I tend to not do anything with it. That's the original. That's the raw footage. So we'll just bring it down here. In the event we got to clean something up, I always got the original we're going to use. And then each of the nodes, we're going to add one thing at a time so that we can go back and see if there's any problems along the way. The first thing I'm going to do, click on this node, and I'm going to use this Windows or this masking effect. We're going to go here to this pen tool. And we're going to make just a little bit of a hole here. Get a little bit of the skin so we can blend that a little bit later. You can see nothing has changed here yet because we haven't added an alpha output. So what we're going to do on the right side, you can see very small, the change that we made. We're going to connect this blue to the blue and connect this blue to the, whoops. You got to make sure to add an alpha output. Right click on your mouse, go here to add alpha output and then you can connect the blue to the blue. Second thing now we're gonna do is get rid of this green. So on this second node here, click on this, go down here to the qualifiers tab, and with this one selected, click on this, bring it up to a green, click on that, and you'll see we've got all this green here that we're trying to mask out, and we've got the underlying video. I don't wanna see that because I wanna get a better green uh, grab better green key. So I'm going to go back to the edit page here, click on the underlying clip, hit D to disable that. So now I can just see the green that we're going to use. Flip back over to the color page. We're going to zoom in a little bit using the scroll wheel on your mouse. Make sure this node is selected here for the green and then drop down here to add a little bit more of the green colors we're going to try and get out. So this picker, you can add it here. We're going to try to get a bit more of the green. All right. A couple other things we can do here to clean this up. You've got these a couple different bar graphs here we can use, and on the right side, a few other options we can use. So we're going to try and grab a little bit more of the green here. You can see it doesn't work. So let's bring this over here. Perfect. Looking pretty good. We got a little bit around the hairline, which is always going to be a difficult spot. So if I have this node again selected on the right side here, it's going to click the invert button. And now you'll see the person that we tried to green out. You still got a lot of green here on the side. So a couple ways to clean this up again is using these graphs at the bottom here. Again, the hairlines are going to be kind of tough. Also, because it was so close to the green screen, the light on the green screen actually comes back, splashes back onto me. So one thing, when you're using a green screen, make sure you are further away from the screen so that spill doesn't come back on you. So a couple ways to clean this up. Again, we're going to scroll in here a little bit. You can either keep clicking and keep adding to this, hoping to get a little bit more, or if it's too close like it is in this case at the bottom here, I'm going to change some of these finessing tools. So just play around a little bit here. We'll try and get as much as we can out just to make the effect look a, bit, look a bit better. That's not too bad. There's still a few spots here, but we'll work with this for the time being. 
We're gonna go back over here into the edit page. You can see my face has now been keyed out. We're gonna bring on the underlying clip. Again, select this in the timeline, press D to disable, re-enable here, and it's pretty well lined up. Might move, make a small change here. Looks pretty good. Oh, one other thing I forgot. With your face clip with the green screen, another way to not have such harsh edges here at the bottom of this mask when you're back in the color page. You can see the bottom here. Go to your mask, the node that we put the mask in, and on the bottom here, oops, go to the window tab, sorry. On the bottom here, you can soften this up a little bit to make it look like it comes in a bit better. This is just a softening, or you can do inside and outside, depending on what you're looking for. So you see it's a little bit cleaner here. We can do a bit of a better job. I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll change this here for uh, in, the, in the Fusion, but for right now we'll use that. Let's still get this green. Let's try and get this kind of green out here. Perfect. All right. So I'll get the green screen out. Got the head on top of the head. I gotta track it. So with it being lined up the right way. Um, one side note, if I can, you can see here, this is starting to cache, starting to render a little bit. Uh, depending on what kind of computer you have, you might wanna pull up your task manager. Just so you can keep a good eye on their performance. As you can see, uh, we're using a pretty good load right here. So uh, this dip is just because this has now been fully cached, fully rendered. So you won't see that. But as we're going to continue in Fusion, you, this will start to bounce up pretty heavily. So just depending on the computer you have, make sure to keep this up. Just keep an eye on it. So what we're going to do here, whoops, is with these two clips, we're going to highlight both of them. Right click on your mouse and click on to new Fusion clip at the top. Click on here, it goes away, not to worry about it, we'll get it back. Click on your clip, bring it over here into the Fusion tab. A couple housekeeping items as always. You got your media in one and two. This is a merge node which will connect the two. This is your output. So to figure out what these two are, click on one of them and then on your keyboard press two and that will show what the actual node is gonna be. The reason I say two, there's two different options for displays. So you can have both one and two. The second one is gonna be if you've got a single mode, what's, what's being seen. So with media one in, uh, clicked on number one. This is gonna be uh, Jean F2 to change the name. Over here, media in two, two, name me. All right, so now the green screen is out. What we're gonna do is track my face onto his face and try to get this in the line. So with Jean, or with the Volvo commercial selected, on our keyboard, you're gonna do Shift Spacebar to bring up all the different tools. You're looking for the planner, planner tracker, and that, it's already connected here, which is great. With that clicked on, you're gonna zoom in here Oops, by clicking control and scroll wheel and find an area that we want to make sure to have tracked. There we go. And then we've got this all the way set at the beginning of the timeline here. On the right side, you're going to see the inspector tab for the planar tracker. You want this to say track. You want to set where you'd like to start the frame. Tracker is hybrid point area. Motion type, we've got a couple different ways. We're gonna look at translation, rotation, and scale. Everything else is fine. And then you're gonna click here where it says track all the way to the end. And again, my two cents, I wanna keep this up. It's pretty uh, intensive on the computer. So let's give it a shot. No, 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 no. 
that looks great so back here in the tool you see all these little dots these are all the different frames that we've tracked so now with all this information we're gonna go over here to the right create planner transform and this node now has all that information in there so you're gonna click on planner transform make sure it's highlighted click the shift button on your keyboard and bring this in make sure the colors change let go and then now it is connected Go back to the beginning here. Let's put this number two. Just take a quick peek how it looks. That's pretty good. A couple other things we're going to do to change this here. Uh, you can notice pretty well that this has been green screened and put onto the face. So what we're going to do is change this a little bit here to make sure the coloring blends a bit better with the video. So with your actor you selected here, me in this case, we're going to go shift spacebar and go to a color corrector. Add that here. And we're going to tweak and change some of these tools. This isn't too bad. It's pretty good. So there you go. Uh, the one other thing I'll mention is if you, at the very beginning of this clip, when we're in the edit page, if you didn't size the first face up correctly, you can click on your face and then add a transform node. So shift spacebar, transform. And this will allow you the ability to change this one uh, uh, screen or video a bit. So if it didn't match up quite correctly, you can change that a little bit as you need to. Hopefully you did that on the first side, but if you didn't, here's an easy fix on the back side. So here's how it looks. Again, as it's rendering caching, you'll see on the edit page, you got the red here. It's gonna switch over to blue as it's starting to cache. And then your computer is gonna start working pretty hard as seen right here. Maybe just let off. Don't do anything for a minute. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. I apologize. My computer is giving me a really hard time to show you the second idea or the second trick on how to get the green screen out. I will put that together. I will get it out this week. It's going to be using all of this within the Fusion tab. Again, just difficulties. So uh, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, make sure to like button below. Subscribe if you want some more content. Hit the bell notifications so you get notified every time I upload content. And Drop a comment in the comment section below. Uh, part one is today. Part two will come out soon. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.